welcome everyone to the final narrative week, week 7 of Destiny to the Witch. I apologize for this video coming out later than I intended. I intend to have this recorded done before I went live on stream yesterday, Tuesday the 3rd. However, issues arose and I was this was delayed to today, the f day after this weekly reset. So, the VOD for the stream will be up on Twitch on Friday afternoon. Uh, the plan for up this upcoming Tuesday, which will be the 10th, uh, will be the complete narrative story from week 1 to week 7 over on my Hunter, where we'll just play the entire narrative season straight through. That will be live on Twitch, which will be in the description, on the, again, the 10th, starting at 4 p.m. Eastern. But for now, let's quickly dive into what was have been yesterday, the other stores, then the weekly challenges, and then file, finally the weekly rotators. So let's go check it out. On the main page, we have the T-Ball emote from Haunted. Not a bad one. We have the All-Terrain Explorer from Seraph. Only the wheel touched the ground. We have the champion entrance from Arrivals. We have the Transcendental Ambition Shader from Seraph. A lot of Beijing Golds. If you find the right arms, you can find the Iron Man. We have the Solar Shrapnel from Deep. Right this page, we have the Wicked Taunt from Season of the Witch. Very much your Wizard of Oz reference. Uh, Hold That Pose from Chosen. Which is just your Guardian of Mo Mocap suit. Then we have the Saturnated Shell from Witch. We have the Pronghorn Ship from Witch as well. It's a very unique design for sure. Let's see what all shades. I think I could probably find a uh, shader good for it. It's not a bad one right there. We have the externalization of Sparrow from Seraph. Alright. And we have the end of an era. Weapon ornament for the last word from Plunder. We can text Mechanica. One. And your stasis projection, ghost projection from Hunter. Then we have the Amethyst Veil from Opulence. My favorite one, it's not a bad shader. If you have the right armor set for it. The Vibrant Medusa from I Warmine. A lot of green. The Carbon Blood from Hunted. So yeah, not a bad one. And the he shielded from chosen. Not too long as armor, but you can definitely find stuff it works with. We then have the nightmare emergence effect from Undying. <laughs> The 
Arby entrance effect from Splice. And the Resurrected Shadow entrance from the Alright. That is it for that. So let's head on over and check out the weekly challenges for the week. We have Atlas Ascent 7. Complete week 7 of the Bladed Path, Bladed Path quest. Power Caster. Defeat Seasonal Commander Power Weapons in Seasonal Witch Activities. Only need to do 100 of those. Ritual Rampage, rapidly defeat combatants and defeat challenging combatants in the Altars of Summoning activity. Uh, 25 power combatants and rapidly defeat is percentage base. I would give a guess, maybe 50 or 100. I could be wrong. Boom Zayer, defeat targets with rocket launchers or machine guns. Earn bonus progress by defeating guardians or defeating combatants in the season of activities. Percentage based, yet again. Lost in Legend. A complete a legend lost it during on legend or higher. Just need to do one. Guardian Spirit. Assist your allies via revives, healing, overshields, and superclass buffs in Vanguard Gambit or playlist like playlist. Uh, excuse me. Only need to do 30. Got a woman all. Complete activities in Vanguard Gambit or Crucible playlists. Or bonus progress is granted for completing Vanguard playlist activities at a higher a hero difficulty or higher, or for winning gambit or crucible matches. Enlightened Gambit, defeat targets with Arc, Solar, or Void subclass equipped in Gambit. Our bonus progress for reward is awarded for ability final blows and guardian final blows, excuse me. And lastly, Rapid Precision, get Rapid Precision final blows. Bonus, pro bonus progress is granted for every defeated target after the second one, and it's percentage based. Okay, that is it for that. For the weekly rotators, over in for our Nightfall, it is the Life Blade Strike. Very challenging one. Um, with this, you also get the Loaded Question as a normal or adept weapon. The loaded Adept is a fusion rifle. Um, I'll put the Light.gg light link in the description below so you can guys can check out what it drops with on your own. We have Increased Gambit Rep this week. If you, for those of you who wish like to grind out Gambit real fat, you can get your stuff for it. In the Legends tab, our Climber Tater is Prestige, and only Precious this week. And then, over on Neptune, it is the Root of Nightmare raid as your reprised raid, with over on the Moon, Duality being the reprise dungeon for the week. Today until reset, or shortly thereafter, the Lost Sector currently, at time of recording, is Masala's Labyrinth over on Cosmodrome. And on Neptune this week, the Zex Incursion is over here in the Zephyr's Conduct Course. And at reset, currently is over Terminal Boats in Ashman Park, and at reset will shift over to Living Harbor. So you have today, now, and today to, you know, get lucky on that but that is it for the weekly reset I hope you all have a wonderful week 3 once again I'm sorry this came out day late essentially all have a wonderful week 7 hope you all enjoy the seasonal narrative for Season of Witch and I'll see you in the next stream and video have a good one everybody